have initiated a series of uh, forums. We call them uh, NFL community huddles, taking a goal line stance for your mind and body. And I think that says a lot about what we're trying to achieve. We are working with the NFL, especially the NFL alumni. Uh, we are engaging uh, former football players and their families in, in these discussions. But also, we're bringing in people from the community. Uh, our role with the NFL is to bring together former football players and their families and develop support among them for each other, but also to assure them of our support for making sure that they get the health care that they need. But at the same time, we feel our role, especially in Moi School of Medicine, role is to, is to educate and to work with communities because uh, in the final analysis, we want to be able to prevent this from happening. We have really brought together, I think, a great group of people um, to really uh, make these points. For example, Shamika Hokloff, outstanding uh, professional basketball player. I think uh, she was on the uh, championship team at Tennessee and was player of the year throughout the country. Uh, she has suffered depression and she's willing to talk about it. We have Eric Hipple, I think a former quarterback uh, in the NFL, who uh, has also dealt with depression and even had a son to commit suicide. Eric talks about that uh, very freely and makes the point that we can't take the mental health of our children for granted. Uh, we need to nurture their mental health. Uh, Mark Kelso had, had several concussions and after a while he was told that the only way he could continue playing was to wear a special helmet. So Mark brings this big helmet with him and he talks about what it was like to wear this helmet and how this helmet to protect him, protected him from further concussions. So we have a great group of people. Gene Blake is a moderator. Gene Blake um, has a lot of experience interviewing people. Uh, I co-wrote a book with her on talking with children a few years ago, but Gene Blake is just an outstanding uh, a moderator. Perhaps really what makes this conference, though, to be honest, is Sylvia Mackey. Sylvia is a uh, is, uh, spouse, if you will. She's the wife of the great uh, uh, tight end John Mackey, number 88. And, uh, of course, the whole NFL program to support these families is named for him because his wife, Sylvia, brought this issue out into the open and convinced the NFL that they needed to do something. We hope that through these forums, forums we can achieve at least three things. Uh, one, we really want people to know that mental disorders are real, that they are common, that mental health is not to be taken for granted. Mental disorders are disabling. Uh, the good news, of course, is that in most of the cases, we can treat mental disorders. We can help people to recover and to return to productive lives. Uh, but also, we have a problem with stigma, which keeps a lot of people from getting a cure. That's point number one. Point number two, I think, in these forums is we're trying to make people understand that athletes and their families, like all other types of families in America, suffer from mental disorders. They struggle with mental disorders. Sometimes uh, these mental disorders can interfere with their ability to function. They have to be a team member. They have to get up for game after game. And if you're dealing with something like depression, uh, it's very hard to do that. So there are various ways in which mental disorders can, can hurt the career of athletes, just as they can hurt the productivity and relationships of anybody else. And finally, we, we want to zoom in on this problem of head trauma, that it's not something to be taken for granted, especially when it occurs in our children. Concussions are not to be taken lightly. Children are not to go back into games unless they're cleared by health professionals. And then we want to talk a little bit about the experience of people like Mark Kelso and Eric Hipple uh, after football, after football careers.